Okay, everyone. Oh, sorry, I'm getting wet. I'm the OG Parker. I'm down to Thames, getting wet. Um, oh, sorry, I'm actually really getting wet. As you can see, there's um not much foreshore at the moment. This is what it's like to get it down here, start of the day. There's a few inches of um, foreshore. So I'm heading down that way, where there's a little bit more to um, yeah, get started for the day. So um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Let's hope you have a good day. Oh, there's a clipper coming past, so I need to get over here quick. So I'm gonna cut this short. Let's get dirty. Let's get somewhere where it's safe so I don't get water in my gumboots. There's a cool, oh, someone's letting off fireworks. Um, there's a cool, would that be a bottle base? Yeah, it's just a base. Um, UGB 23 and some image of something. Well, I say it's a dragon, I'm not being that optimistic. Um, Can't really tell at the moment. It's a clean up. It's cool. I always like finding things like this. Certainly not boring, are they? Whether it's old or not, I'm not sure. It's interesting. So can you see all the little treasures down here? Oh, it looks like a another bottle base. Not a keeper though, I don't think. That looks interesting though, because I can see some flowers on there. That's nice. Ah, oh, not nice. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good. Good label. Johnson Brothers, made in England. Oh, that would actually be quite a nice um, one to turn into a pendant, if I could get that round or an oval shape there. Match up with, oh, that could actually be quite nice. So you actually have a round pendant here, if it, if it lines up. And then if I focus and match up with the um, writing on the top, the maker's details. Might have to go with that one. Yeah. See how that comes up? That could be cool. Seems like it's bottle base morning. Uh, another one. It's got writing on it. London, England. What does that say? Probably better read it through the camera. Something in Brooks. Something Garini. Just just Garini and Brooks. Bottled and so it says made. Bottled and can't read, so London, England. Cool. It's history. It's interesting. What do you reckon the find is? Definitely looks coin shaped to me. Okay, I love the reveal. Do, do, do. Oh, is it just a one penny, two penny? Oh, it is. Oh, such disappointment. Was it 1990? 1990, I think. See that better. I just had to give it a bit of polish up. Yep, 1990. Ah, well. It's a coin, it's a start. Always enjoy finding coins. It's just the anticipation of where there's anything um, quite old. No. Anyway, keep going. Day's young. I can see a nice little pipe, broken pipe, just washed in those last few waves up there. Let's go and have a look. I don't to sink too far into this mud, it's quite sloppy. There we go. That's nice. Nice little detail up the side, which I believe was when I used to join them, join the pieces, the two halves. So I'd run that detail, that leaf detail to to make it nice and tidy and clean and pretty. Nice start. 
and we're only like a couple of meters into this good mud could be a good day look at that cool milk bottle just perched there coming out of the mud that's how I slip and slide around uh, nothing on it uh, expires okay anyway I've got enough bottles at home so that one can stay straight there while I go pipe hunting in my shadows there could be two things down here well, one there is look at that there's a nice bit of pipe there's clay tobacco pipe but it looks like it would have been the mouthpiece so you don't get many that go right down to the tip like that um yeah that's nice and i'm just gonna put that in my pouch and down here could that ooh, be a bit of grape shot oh no i think it's a bolt from there from the top they look promising but when i see here I can see something square. I think that's part of a bolt. So anyway, I'll still crack it open and check. This is so hard on your hands. No, it's just a bolt. See it under there. Anyway, that can stay there. I'll keep searching. At least we're finding things. Oh, oh. geez, I nearly fell backwards. Stuck in that mud, and nearly fell on my bum. Gotta be careful, I might have to put the phone in my pocket. No. Yeah, plenty of things around today. Just hope there's some plenty of good things. And another bowl, camouflage, just a rock. Quite a bulbous one, isn't it? Short and stubby. Lovely detail, look at that. It's beautiful. You actually look really close. Some things would be so easy to walk past. So I see all those little stones down there. You see the white stones. You see the one white stone that's not a white stone. That one. That, that clay pipe material. Oh, the excitement. Is there gonna be, is it gonna be a broken bowl? Is there gonna be a bowl and a stem? Your guess is as good as mine. Doesn't look like it's got any detail on it. Um, I don't know which, oh no, it moved too easy. There's gonna be no stem. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Oh, it's a little tiny stem. It's okay, I'm not complaining. Let's see if I wash it in this hole. Little let's get some water around. Oh, it's got some, I can feel it. That's nice. They're getting better. Gone from tiny fragments to broken bowls. It's now a bowl and a bit of a stem with the lovely detail on it. The day's improving. As the tide's dropping. And just for the pottery lovers, let me just check this first. No, just a stem. Pottery lovers. Nice bit of bowl. And detail. That looks interesting. Oh, that was quite interesting. Come out. Yep. Right on the plate. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. That's definitely a keeper. That's a future piece of work. That's nice. Oh, it's like, oh. a bit of a bowl. That's nice. Oh, is it a cup? We've had a handle on there. Handle snapped off. And 
right when I almost gave up hope. I was getting so frustrated, so much mud. Check that out, all right. Extraction time. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, she's moving a bit already, so um, pipe stems that way. I can see the stem. Have we got much of a stem? It's going. It's going up, so I'm not expecting it to be too long. But it's a stem. It's a pipe. Oh, that's actually quite, quite long. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. Just a minute. That is a complete pipe. I can feel the mouthpiece on the end. Remember before I found that little, that tiny little stem in the mouth mouthpiece? Oh, yes, it's a complete pipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's super. <laughs> oh, I thought that was gonna be just a bowl, or just a bowl and a tiny bit of stem. Even a long stem would have been good, but I got a bowl, a long stem, and the mouthpiece. That is so cool. Oh, I'm so happy. That is awesome. Get some of the mud out of there now. And the stones. Let's turn it back into a beautiful pipe again. There we go. Oh, oh I don't keep my fingers. You don't want to see my freaking fingers on the camera. Look at that. That is a masterpiece. That is an absolute beauty. Hey, what a bad boy that is. Beautiful detail on it. That's so black. It's gonna take time to clean up. That's nice and bulbous. That is a stunner. That is gorgeous. Ah, oh, what a lovely find. I wasn't expecting a whole, a whole pipe today. And it's always cool looking at it. You're seeing what was in the mud. Basically, what was black was covered in the mud. And the only thing that would have been sticking out, got some air to it, some oxygen, is that white bit. So I was lucky. It's only just been exposed. Just enough for little old me to come and find it. Yoo-hoo! Okay, boat's just gone past. So I'm about to get stuck in here and get very wet. So I've got to scoot. Looks like the heel to a hobnail boot. I wonder what era that would have been from. Well, hobnail boots around. Early 1900s maybe? What do you think? I actually never researched that. If you know, let me know. Do you reckon that looks like a bullet? I reckon it does. I reckon it might be. I reckon it definitely might be. Oh, she's stuck in there. Yes, it is unspent, I believe. It is not punched in the base there. Never having a gun apart from a little air rifle when I was a kid. Um, yeah, I assume. Uh, what is the writing on there? Can't see. What if I can give it a little clean up? I can see it before I throw it away. Um, so I'm trying to look down the side because if I look through the camera, I can never read it. No, it's a bit too worn, I think. So I guess it's time to go. Bye bye, bullet. Look, as the tide comes in and out, there's a cool little button, I think. It is a nice little fly button, and it's got writing on it. Oh, weird noises today around here. So, have it. I'll take it. I can't really see in this light. So, have it. I'll take a photo and I'll put it there, zoomed in, and we can see if we can read that writing.
Looks like everything's hiding in the puddles today. Have a look. Down there. Ah, it's coin shape. Ooh, okay, it's thin. It's either thin and nasty or thin and old. I'm feeling it's thin and worn and maybe a 1P. Got a lot of crust corrosion on it. Oh, just a minute. Oh, no, that's actually old. Oh. That's my phone's ringing in my pocket. Sorry about that. No, in my bag. Um, look, it's got our Britannia on the front. Oh, that's actually quite old. Can you read a date on the bottom? Would that be... I'd guess it's 1800s. Oh, oh, it's a bit, a bit more quite. It's very, very worn on the back. There'll be a head on there. I can't see it at the moment. How about we zoom in? Okay, give me a minute. Let me zoom. Let's see. Will it focus or not? Not yet, not yet. How about getting the shade? Sorry about the camera work. Mm, can't see that. Oh, definitely Britannia. So she's old. It's a nice old coin. But it's definitely going to have to be cleaned up to see what it is. Yeah. Happy days. another button certainly looking like it it's very small though come to me Ooh. just a minute What's, those holes don't go through what on earth is that what on earth is that I thought it was a button. I thought it had four holes on it. It's actually got four indentations. It's, it's almost like a token. But um, it's nothing on the back. Or if it was, I can't see what's on there. It's got some marks. Oh, that is cool. Now, is, is that like something obviously that I'm not thinking of? Or could that be an old trader's token? What do you reckon? I'm stumped. I've never found anything like that before. Whatever it is, it's super cool. Today's definitely a cool finds day. Today's been awesome. Okay, I might need your help on this one. What on earth could that be? Take bottle. Look at the um, base on that. Let's see if I can get it to wash up. Look at that, that's cool, isn't it? What is it? Oh, well, there's a name on the top. F F L I N G Fling. What is Fling? I've never heard of Fling before. Anyone remember? I drip must have been a. Maybe it was an English drink called Flynn. Fling. Anyone remember a bottle of Fling? Do I keep it or do I fling it? It's kind of a cool bottle. Look at all the um. Oh, look, look at all the um. Little, little bits in it. Little blobs. Little indentations. That's actually quite cool. The more I look at that, I actually think I'm going to keep this for now. That's a quite a cool bottle. Let's see if I can. Oh, she's full of mud. That's going to be quite a job. 
Oh, that's grimy. Fill it with water. Wash that. That's going to take me a while, but I'll do it. I think that's definitely worth cleaning up. That is... That, that's actually, the more I look at it, that's actually really cool. Very cool. I'll show you a photo of that. It'll probably, it'll probably never look as good as it does now with that mud inside showing off the um, riding on the top. But what a cool bottle. <laughs> bottle of fling. Well, the tide's turned. It's a time to escape these boggy marshes with some beautiful, solid terra firma. So, time to have a look around on these high tide marks, because a lot of time you'll find it pipes. If they become loose down there in the mud, and they get one tide on them, they actually often come and wash up. And you can find them often caught in these rocks. So on high tide, they'll wash up, they'll get caught in there, as the tide goes out, they'll get stuck in there. So I'm now gonna spend my, another hour or so, wandering around up the top here, checking, with it, checking if anything's snagged. Up in these snow, up in these stones. Nice piece, it's ridged. get bored and you find pieces like this. How nice is that? So many. They're just never ending down here. There we go. Turn over and get the hopes up. What a handle. Guess that's it for me for today unfortunately not much luck up on a high tide mark um, all the fun today all the fun today was down on that low tide mark so time to get these gum boots off and these knee pads um, yeah head for home so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time down here as I search for London's lost history